and welcome to mahindra.com and you and today we are here to discuss a very important topic and that is trigonometry as you all know that ssc is going to be online so this trigonometry will play a crucial role in the examinations as you all know that we are providing you some different types of videos as far as the exam is concerned so uh, subscribe our youtube channel download our mg app as well now in trigonometry what type of questions can be asked in the examination let us just card let us start. today we have the concept that is quadrant as you all know this quadrant one question or two questions can be asked in the examination so this is a very important topic you can say how we have to calculate the answer questions very quickly now see in quadrant what things we have to keep in our mind while solving the questions from this concept now let us see we have quadrant four quadrants we have that is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant in first quadrant 0 to 90 degree angles lies in the first quadrant right what we have mentioned we have mentioned the angles from 0 degree to 90 degree that will lies in the uh, first quadrant right and in first quadrant sin theta cos theta tan theta cot sec and cosec we have six trigonometric ratio in the trigonometry so all six trigonometric ratio will be positive in first quadrant what i'm saying i'm saying in first quadrant angle from 0 to 90 will lies in first quadrant and in first quadrant all six trigonometric ratio will be positive if you go to the second quadrant in second quadrant we have angle from 90 degree to 180 degree and in second quadrant sin theta and cosec theta this two ratio will be positive and rest will be negative right so this is a very important factor that here in second quadrant sin theta and cosec theta these two things will be positive and rest will be negative right in third quadrant we have the angle from 180 to 270 degree in third quadrant angle from 180 degree to 270 degree lies in third quadrant and in third quadrant 10 theta and cot theta these two trigonometric ratio will be positive and rest will remain negative all right which means 10 theta and cot theta are, are positive in this quadrant and rest are in negative sign right now if you go to the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant angle from 270 to 360 will lie in fourth quadrant and fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant we have cos theta and sec theta positive and rest will be negative right now see here what we have mentioned we have four quadrant first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth quadrant all right now see in first quadrant angle from 0 to 90 degree 0 to 90 all will be positive so we have all will be positive the name is here a we can say right the name is here a which means all are positive that is a in second quadrant only sine and cosec theta are positive we can say that is s right because the uh, cosec theta is the reciprocal of sine theta so here a and s in this quadrant tan theta and cot theta is positive is positive so here we can say that that is t all right now in the fourth quadrant we have cos theta and sec theta is positive cos theta sec theta is positive so we can say c so now this is a rule and what is the rule ASTC so you can remember this thing by this rule also that ASTC which means all student take coffee you can say all student take coffee which means in first quadrant all will be positive in second quadrant sin theta and cos theta will be positive in the third quadrant tan theta cot theta will be positive and in the fourth quadrant cos theta and sec theta will be positive and all and other will be negative so how the questions comes from this uh, topic on how questions can be correlate from this topic now let us see before starting the questions we have one conclusion more now the, the next conclusion we have that is the sign changing now 90 or 270 what i'm saying i'm saying 90 plus minus theta 90 plus minus theta will always change right 90 plus minus theta will always change and 270 plus minus theta 
will always change which means 90 plus minus theta and 270 plus minus theta will always change and the rest we have 180 and 360 means 180 plus minus theta or 360 plus minus theta will not change which means sine theta will change to cos theta right sin theta will change to cos theta and cos theta will change to sin theta remember this is a very important thing here sin theta will change to cos theta and cos theta will change to sin theta on the same way tan theta will change to cot theta and cot theta will change to tan theta now what we have the rest sec theta right so sec theta will change to cosec theta and cosec theta will change to sec theta so these are the conditions which we always have to keep in your mind while solving these type of problems now again i'm repeating if you have 90 plus minus theta it will change and sine theta will change to cos theta then 10 theta will change to cot theta and sec theta will change to cosec theta and this is a table when we have no change which means if 180 plus minus theta that will be no change so sine theta will change no change sine will remain same sine cos will remain cos and 10 will remain 10 now how question will come from this concept now let us see suppose i'm just taking an example that is if we write sine 90 plus theta now if I'm writing sine 90 plus theta, sine 90 plus theta, 90 plus theta will change as I already discussed. 90 plus theta will change and sine will change to cos theta, right? So this can be written as cos theta. But you can see here 90 plus theta, 90 plus theta will lie in second quadrant and in second quadrant sine is positive in second quadrant sign is positive so sign is here positive so the positive or negative concept will come from the previous one which i have discussed already so you have to remember that 90 plus theta will change 90 minus theta will change and 270 plus theta will also change minus will also change and 180 and 360 will not change now let us discuss one questions from this topic you can see here this questions has come in the examination in 2013 so this questions can also be asked in the examination how we have to solve now see here we have given sine theta plus 34 degree is equal to cos theta right sine theta plus 34 degree is equal to cos theta and we have to find the value of theta and one thing is mentioned here theta plus 34 degree is acute angle triangle which means uh, acute angle triangle the angle from less than 90 degree now see so sine theta plus 34 is equal to cos theta we have and we have to find the value of theta so most of the students have problems are how we will calculate directly now see if you have the concept from the quadrant then things are very easy let us see here sine theta plus 34 degree now this can be written as cos theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta why i am writing this because here it is sine and this can be written as in the form of sine as well so because things are very easy to compare now see cos theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta and you can see here 90 minus theta will change and 90 minus theta will come in first first quadrant you can see first quadrant all are positive so cos theta will be positive so this things can be written as this one right now compare all these things so here you will get theta plus 34 degree is equal to 90 minus theta now theta theta will be equal to 2 2 theta here and here we have 10 6 and we have 56 so theta will be equal to 28 degrees so if you have the concept then things are very really easy to solve you can see the value of the theta that is 28 degree which we have to find right so let us discuss one more questions from the same concept now the question is if this type of questions comes in the examination this is a modified modified question because how we have to solve now see here what we have the one 10 2 theta dot 10 4 theta is equal to 1 
and then the value of n3 theta. You can see CGL 2014, important question as well. Right, see here, 10, 2 theta, n4 theta is equal to what? Now see, we have 10, 2 theta, 10, 4 theta is equal to 1 and we are asking 10, 3 theta. So, confusion comes in mind comes in our mind that 2, 4 and the 3 theta is asking. So, uh, these questions can be difficult. No, because if you have a concept, things are very easy. Let us see here. 10, 2 theta, this can be written as 1 upon cot 4 theta is equal to 1. All right, because we can write here 1 upon cot is always 10 theta. See here. 10, 2 theta is equal to cot 4 theta. All right. And 2 theta is equal to cot 4 theta. Now, these things can be written as this one. So, the, what the question has, you know, what the examiner has done in this question, he has modified the question just because he is not asking about this thing. He is asking about this thing. So, this thing can also be written as in the form of this one. And if we have this one, we can also find the value of theta. How? See here. 10 to theta is equal to cot. 4 theta c 10 to theta this can be written as what this can be written as 10 90 minus 4 theta because we have the sign also and we have the quadrant first as well see this can be written as 10 90 minus 4 theta all right why we are writing because things are very easy to compare see this 2 theta 90 minus 4 theta now see 4 theta plus 2 theta will be equal to 6 theta is equal to 90. Here theta will be equal to 15 degree. All right. Now what we have to find? We have to find the value of 10 3 theta. Theta we have 10 3 theta will be equal to which means 10 45 degree we have to find and that is 10 45 is equal to 1. So important question as well or can also be coming in the examination. So what you have to do just go by this method You will easily find the answer. So lots of questions can be asked from this type of uh, This this type of content and this type of topic. So I hope you always you get the concept of the quadrant concept you get now This is all about photo discussion. Hope you like this video and one more thing subscribes our youtube channel because we are providing you a lot of videos as far as the examination is concerned like us on facebook download our mg app as well this is all about food and discussion it last thanks a lot thank you for watching us keep visiting us your success is our success 